न्यूक्लियर मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेंस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज कंसर्न टू न्यूक्लियस ऑफ एन एटम एंड इट्स मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस मोर अबाउट द न्यूक्लियस इंस्टेड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लाइक इन अदर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक टेक्निक्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट न्यूक्लियस ऑफ एन एटम न्यूक्लियस कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड बोथ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स हैव स्पिन एसोसिएटेड विद देम स्पिन कैन बी क्लॉकवाइज और एंटी क्लॉकवाइज वन इज कंसिडर्ड एज प्लस हाफ एंड अदर एज माइनस हाफ सो इफ बोथ प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन हैव सेम स्पिन द न्यूक्लियर स्पिन विल बी सम ऑफ स्पिन ऑफ प्रोटोन एंड स्पिन ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन इन दिस केस वेर प्रोटोन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स हैव सेम स्पिन इट विल बी प्लस हाफ प्लस plus half which is equals to 1 so nucleus will have spin of 1 on the other hand if one particle have opposite spin of minus 1 by 2 then they will cancel but please note that the opposite spin of proton cannot cancel the spin of neutron and vice versa protons and neutrons also have different energies and they can only cancel the spin of particle of same energy so opposite spin of protons of same energy can cancel each other and opposite spin of neutrons can cancel the spin of neutrons only while the opposite spin of protons cannot cancel opposite spin of neutron you can imagine this as the pairing of opposite spins as proton can pair with proton only it can cancel the spin of proton and neutron can pair with neutrons only therefore it can cancel the spin of neutron only so in this case as we can see two protons of opposite spin they can cancel each other but one neutron have plus half spin so nucleus will have total plus half spin similarly if there are more of protons and neutrons for example four protons but only one is paired while there are five neutrons and two are paired so in this case nuclear spin will be 3 by 2 as the spin of proton cannot be paired with neutrons so we can say that the atoms with even number of protons and neutrons like 2 4 6 and more will not have any spin as they will be paired off this type of atoms are nmr inactive rest of the other atoms are nmr active because for nmr the basic requirement is that nuclei should have some spin it is well known that circulation of charge generates an electric current which is associated with a magnetic field since all atomic nuclei have a positive charge spinning nuclei generate a magnetic dipole that is north and south pole along the axis of rotation that is the nuclear axis which is shown here as the red and blue arrow passing through the axis of rotation thus spinning nuclei behaves like a tiny bar magnet with a magnetic moment these magnetic nuclei are randomly oriented in space but when an external magnetic field is applied they tend to orient them in the direction of magnetic field now in presence of external magnetic field there are two possibilities that the spinning nuclei can orient them in the direction of external magnetic field that is with the field or in the direction opposite to magnetic field that is against the field in both cases as the axis of rotation changes its direction the spinning nuclei starts revolving around the axis in circular path this type of movement is known as precession best example of precession is the spinning top as you can see in this video that the top is spinning as well as the axis of spin is revolving at the same time similarly the spinning nuclei also starts doing precession also it can be noticed that the frequency of precession 
depends on the intensity of external magnetic field. In weak magnetic field, nuclei have small precision orbit and less frequency. While in case of strong magnetic field, precision orbit and frequency increases. Now, when an electromagnetic radiation with a magnetic field perpendicular to the precision axis is applied, the frequency of electromagnetic radiation interact with the precision frequency. And when these two frequencies match, it is said that the resonance is taking place. Resonance means two waves of same frequency combine to produce a bigger wave in amplitude. That means at resonating frequency, electromagnetic radiation is absorbed by the spinning nuclei. By absorbing this radiation, nuclei undergoes to higher spin state. And this transition from lower spin state to higher spin state is called flipping. I can show you flipping in simple top for an example. You can find the link for full video in description. Similar thing also happen in nuclei that they absorb energy from electromagnetic radiation and undergo flipping. The absorbed energy of the electromagnetic radiation can be detected with the help of detector and plotted to get the information about flipping nuclei. So that was all about the theory of NMR spectroscopy. In next video, we will try to derive the mathematical expression for the frequency of precision and energy of radiation absorbed. And if you like this video, please click on the like and also subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you.